Okay, Tracy, let's see. Where's your question here? So you got your six different uh, buttons set up. You got uh, six different pages, and now you just need to sort it out so they go to where you want them to go. So let me show you what I got set up here. I started to do this earlier because I thought, oh, this would be a good little video to shoot for people to show them how to set up something like this. So in this case here, I have a uh, choose your payment page. So in that case, it'd be an opt-in page, or it could be a couple other different page types. It doesn't matter. So on here, you would have your six buttons. I was also going to show that you could do this also as an image, or you could actually do it as just text, which is what this is. But in your case here, you got a button. So let's open up that button. And we're going to go to set the action and you're going to take out that hashtag. Make sure you take out the hashtag and then, <clears throat> excuse me, where you want to send this person. So they're going to click on this button right here and you want to send them somewhere. You don't have to submit the page because you have no information to submit. You don't have an email address. You don't have anything I'm assuming on this page, nor should you have it on the page. So you don't want to do any of this stuff. You want to have them just go to this URL when they click this button. So in that case there, then you would come down here to, let's say, order page one, and you would just grab out this URL right here. You would copy this, and then you would go into your button, and you would just pop that in there, paste it, save the page, or, well, go to the next button and fill out all six buttons by grabbing a hold of the URL for this page right there. You'll probably be using a custom domain. I'm just using my ClickFunnels subdomain here. So that would be step number one. Now, the next thing you have to have is when you have each one of your order form pages, then you'll have six of them here. You want to make sure that on these order form pages, where do I have it set up, that you have here, click to, well, when you, whatever you put, whatever text you put in here, you know, buy now, whatever it is. Um, then you want to set your action and you want to set that to submit the order form right there. So you're going to submit that and it'll go boom. But the problem is, as you probably have figured out, is once you click on that button, it will go to the next page in the funnel. So what you have to do is come down here to the confirmation page. And again, we're going to grab this URL. We're going to copy that. We're going to go back to that order form page. And so here the button is submitting it. We need to have it to go to that confirmation page. So we're coming up here to settings, down to general, and we will take out what I had in there and we will paste in that confirmation page. So now when somebody submits the page, it will redirect them over to the confirmation page. So in all cases here, you, you're going to choose your thing. You're going to put your, again, you're going to put the link to the order form page in the button. And then on all of the order form pages, you're going to go to settings, general, and put in the confirmation page so that everybody, once they purchase, will end up on that confirmation page. Now, there is one other thing. Let me see if I still have it open. Um, here is Catherine's automate already um, subdomain, at least here. I don't know if this is her main sales page, but this is one of her sales pages. And what she did here is, so she's got one button here for one payment of fourteen ninety seven, and it's got an order form on this page. And I do believe in this pay case here, this is an, yeah, it is. Um, this is a pay kickstart page because that's who she uses for her uh, affiliate program. And what did I just do here? Let's go back here. Um, so let's scroll all the way down to the bottom. So you got here three payments of five ninety seven, And again, it will take you to this order form page. But the thing is where I should have clicked before is there's a little uh, X here and you're going to close that because what she's using is what is known as a click pop in side of click funnels and so if you wanted to use a click pop on your order form or to open up your order form page you can do that then from the payment page so you would do that from this page right here and again you would set the button for what we want to set our button for did i not know what i do here before i guess i didn't paste that in or i didn't well, that is something. Uh, but so what you want to do then is if you want to do that click pop where it just pops up onto the screen like that, we're going to come here to our order page. And instead of grabbing this link and putting it into the button, we're going to come over here to publishing and we're going to get our get click pop code. 
And this gets a little bit more complicated. So what I will do is show you um, a link to a different video I made on this. But what you're going to do is you're going to grab out parts of this this code right here. The, the second bit here, the script part, that can go into the header code or what I normally do is I put it into the head of the entire site. And then the other part of the code, you're going to put directly into the link because we can come back over here. And with Catherine's, we can highlight over it and you see down in the very bottom corner down here, it's automatorarready.com or clickfunnels.com slash optin underscore box and then a bunch of numbers and letters afterwards, which is exactly what you're going to get. Where is it? Right. No, that's not right. Oh, here it is. Opt-in box. There we go. That's what I was looking for. So opt-in box right there. And then that makes the click pop uh, show up on the page. But like I said, I will send you a different video in regards to that. So that's a couple of different ways you can do it. And like I said, I was going to shoot a full-blown video and I probably still will, but I wanted to get this to you so you could get your funnel wrapped up.